Campi Fogay, Italy, a supervolcano beneath Naples ready to roar. A new scientific advanced study reveals reoccurring quakes, ground swelling, and gas surges, threatening a half a million lives. On August 5th, there was a magnitude 3.8 quake which struck. Uh, could an eruption or a tsunami follow? Let's dive into this fury disaster. They've also had a magnitude 4.4 and a 4.6. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Friday, August 8th, 2025. I want to give a shout out to all the angels in disguise that have bought me cups of coffee and join me on my Patreon account. You can watch my videos there for free and send in PayPal donations. God bless you. Science Advances reports can't be flagre chaos since 1950 with 19,000 quakes, a 3.5 meter of uplift. So that would be about 11 feet, 6 inches. But also CO2 emissions at 1,600 tons daily this year. My last report where I reported the magnitude 3.8 earthquake on August 5th was part of a 93 quake swarm. It shook Potsawa, cracking walls, according to INGV users. Yeah, Naples rumbles, no injuries, but fear grips the Gulf. Magma outgassing at eight kilometers or a little more than four miles deep fuels fluid pressure, driving quakes and two centimeters of uplift monthly. Past crises were in 1950, 1969, 1982, and they all saw about 5,000 quakes each, but no eruptions. Since the 1938 Monte Novo eruption, which killed 24 people, a VEI-4 eruption in the future could spark a 3-meter tsunami wave, which is about 9 feet and it threatens Naples, according to experts. They're not telling you everything that's going on there. They're getting desperate. A recent article on Earth.com talks about how a volcano, can it be stopped before it erupts? A study found the answer. They're planning on pumping the water out from under the ground to prevent more cracking, more uh, fractures to a form in the uh, cap above the uh, caldera. Rainwater percolates down into the different calderas of uh, this super volcano, which is heated up by magma, which in turn releases gases and the heated water rises up so that more cracks form, making it easier for the magma to rise to the surface. They think that by preventing the water to percolate into the ground, they're going to prevent the cracks from opening up and prevent an eruption. They're getting desperate. Five months ago, there was a magnitude 4.6 earthquake, and they reported there was no damage or anything like that. But there was. They actually had a train tunnel or a bus tunnel that collapsed, and luckily the earthquake was in the middle of the night, so there probably wasn't any surf, um, service going on during that time. I certainly never heard about the tunnel collapse, did you? Here's an article that I found, Earthquake Disrupts Flagrine Lines. And this was posted on the 18th, I believe. It says, following the magnitude 4 earthquake felt today, July 18th, the circulation on the Flagrine Lines has been interrupted. After a technical inspection, uh, the line was restored in the morning for the entire route. Um, it talks about how it was impassable due to the Monte Alibino Tunnel. And it says near Dazio, trains will run and it gives two different locations. So they evidently rerouted, uh, yeah, travel there. Replacement bus service has been arranged for the interrupted section. Yeah, let me go back to the Google Earth right there. And I'll pull this out. And that was from a four, a magnitude four. But there was a 4.6 uh, 
um, yeah, in that same location. Yeah, we got uh, buildings on top. So now they're talking about um, putting in wells, pumping out the water from under the ground, reducing the amount of water that seeps into the ground in the hopes in the future to prevent an eruption. Here I have several pictures for you, and this is uh, the area. So here we have Pozzoli, and it shows the shallow aquifers, and it shows all the cracks that are forming. And this is a layer that's supposed to be a cap that is cracking. Um, yeah, dike intrusion is forming. So I want to go to the area of Pozzoli, seeing how that's the area that they were showing on the map right there okay right there and I got it marked I have another image here showing that location and Solfaterra let me make this bigger and it's showing the magma chamber yeah there's a lot of information they're not telling you and off on the left I got the depth There's a lot of um, calderas within uh, the Campi Flagre caldera. Let's see, Solthera is where? There it is, okay. I got so many notes and so many earthquakes. This is it right here. Not far from this magnitude 4.6 and 4.4. And yeah, today there's been a lot of earthquakes today. Um, the largest, I believe, was a 2.0. But I want to show you this. And this has the different volcanic centers. Uh, uh, Nubio and, um, yeah, Solf um, Solfera. And this is the magma chamber. All right. And this is the conduit as it comes up. And again, off on the far left, we got the depth of, of these different sections. And I have another image showing the uh, plumbing system. This one isn't as good. Let me bring this over if I can. And the depth. Oh, and I got another image. I got links to these different web pages showing the area that they are considering pumping the water out. Here we go. I can't, well, I probably could make it bigger for you, but this other image is sideways. And let me bring it down to show you these other images. Here's another image with the different areas, you know, showing on the map. And then, of course, this one, which is sideways. <laughs> and then um, another view. This one here is probably the better map, showing the location and the areas of the water that they want to prevent from percolating down into the, the uh, soil. The article that I was showing you says that uh, they confirm reoccurring unrest they believe is driven by fluid pressure, not magma. Well, like I said, what do you think? Is it magic that's heating up the water? Yeah, it's a magma below that that is heating up the water and creating the steam and the pressure that creates the uh, cracks, which allows dike intrusion. They believe that reducing the water will in the short term, reduce the chance of an eruption. But, um, yeah, it does also highlight the long-term risks. Using thermal hydromechanical chemical THMC modeling, the study attributes these cycles to magma outgassing at 8 kilometers in depth, driving fluid pressure in a 3-kilometer deep hydrothermal reservoir. Earthquakes and uplift have definitely been increasing between 1950 and 1952. There was 0.7 meters of uplift. 
1,000 quakes. The largest was a magnitude 3.5. CO emissions of 1,500 tons a day. And that was followed by subsidence. But between 1969 and 1972, it had a 1 meter uplift. Not 0 0.7 like it did between 1950 and 52. Uh, 1969, 1972 had one meter of uplift, three feet. There was 1,200 quakes, the largest being a magnitude 3.7. Between 1982 and 1984, there was 1.8 meters of uplift with 2,800 quakes, the largest being a magnitude 4.2. CO emissions increased to 3,000 tons daily, leading to a partial evacuation in parts of the Sorry about the pronunciation here. Current unrest between 2005 and 2025. Uplift has been 2.1 meters, 2 centimeters a month, with 150 centimeters since 2005. 19,000 earthquakes since 2021, including the 4.6 on June 30th of this year. And it collapsed the Peninsula Inlet Ridge. Yep, they had, um, you know, the cliffs there that collapsed. And then on May 13th of this year, there was a magnitude 4.4. A state of emergency was declared, declared, excuse me, and a 4.0 on July 18th which damaged the tunnel, which I, you know, have here. But they said there was no damage. On August 5th of this year, just three days ago, there was a magnitude 3.8 southeast of Patua at 2.8 kilometers in depth. It was felt as on the me uh, mercantile gauge as either intensity level 4 or 5 in Naples and Barcelona with minor cracks in buildings being reported. Current gas emissions that are being released is at 1,600 tons a day. Methane gases, CH4, is rising, indicating hydrothermal activity. In the THMC modeling, magma outgassing release CO2-rich fluids are increasing pressure in the hydrothermal reservoir causing earthquakes and uplift without supposedly magma rising up. Oh, I think they're full of it. Yeah, as the cracks open up because of the pressure, magma always follows. Uh, magma is like a beach ball full of air that you push underneath the water. It naturally wants to rise. And the only thing that's preventing it from rising is that um, cap. The cycles of unrest repeat every 20 to 30 years, supposedly. And supposedly driven by fluid dynamics, not eruptive precursors. Now, they say that the tsunami risk is what follows. Caldera collapse or a submarine landslide could trigger a 1 to 3 meter wave in the Gulf of Naples, potentially reaching as far as Spain and France. Most of the buildings there are unreinforced type of structures. And if they had a magnitude 5, yeah, you can expect a lot of injuries and a lot of damage. I think this plan, um, the possibility of pumping the water out of the ground to relieve pressure, actually amplifies the urgency that they feel. This recent article that they published was um, put out by Chiodini. And they're, t they're a group of scientists. So are they heading to another eruption? The last eruption happened in 1538 at Monte Nuvio. And I'm sure there was a lot less people there uh, than there is now. And that eruption killed 24. And it actually reshaped the coast. I'll give you a link to this article. All links to all the images will be down below if you have access to it. In the uh, more information below this video the government website there only shows magnitude twos or greater but here we have all the volcanoes from today as of making this video um, you can see we got a 0 0.1 another 0 0.1 a 0 0.9 a 1.5 
a 0 0.1, another 0 0.1, a 1.4, and a 2.0. And then yesterday there was a magnitude 1.6. Most of today's quake have been within this area right here. And then there was a 0 0.1 down by the coast that was also today and I believe about two or three out here in the Gulf so what are your thoughts do you think they feel that an eruption is coming and that's why they want to do this desperate measure uh, possibly pumping the water out so that the new fractures don't um, happen to allow the magma to uh, rise up ascend what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.